Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Hi. gamer. And this is some gameplay from Bad Company Two so with me right, playing yeah. some conquest on I Nelson know, Bay. What I wanted to talk to you about in this video is a uh, post I found over at bf3blog.com. Now, bf3blog.com is a site that I stu just kind of stumble upon, uh, which has a lot of information about Battlefield 3. The site contains uh, information about the weapons, the vehicles, and the gadgets that's supposed to be in Battlefield 3. And it also has some editorial stuff uh, where, the, uh, where they publish uh, news and also some thoughts on the development of Battlefield 3. And, and look at this guy right here. See him? I shoot him. I kill him and boom no, goes dynamite. No. <laughs> it was just <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, back to my point. Um, in and in one of those editorials, um, the writer went through some points that he thinks that Battlefield 3 shouldn't have. So, the post was uh, titled "What Battlefield 3 Needs to Avoid," and he has some points that I just wanted to go kind of go through and give you my thoughts on. So, his first point is regenerative health. Now, regenerative health is the concept where you get your health back over time. Uh, this was a feature first in introduced in uh, Call of Duty, but, you know, a lot of games has adopted it since, and also Bad Company too. So, he says that because of regenerative, regenerative health, uh, the meta class is kind of obsolete. Uh, contra uh, in contrast to other uh, shooters like Battlefield 2 and Team Fortress 2 where the medic has a very essential role of supporting his teammates and keeping them alive. In Bad Company 2, while he can revive fallen teammates, um, he's kind of obsolete when it comes to the med packs. He says that they're no. not as important as before. I disagree. The medics have a really important support <laughs> role, where they can kind of, I won't say camp up, but you know they can kind uh, they can take up a position, send two assaults, say two assaults, uh, into uh, to a building, clear the building, and when the assaults get uh, get out again, they can kind of retreat back to the medic, and he can provide cover fire with his LMG, and they can get their health back quicker with the med pack of the medic. So I don't think he's obsolete. He's just got to change up his role a little, perhaps. Um, the next point he has is a bloated point structure, where he says that Bad Company 2 has a bloated point structure where you get points for, uh, for too many things. Um, getting points for destroying vehicles, doing damage on vehicles, uh, different um, points from assists where you can get critical assists or just regular assist. You get different. Uh, you get different amounts of points if um, your squad is involved or if it's not. And he says that um, it comes to a point where players are amassing thousands of points to a point where it doesn't really matter. Kinda like money in Zimbabwe. So he really doesn't like that people are amassing points in the thousands and thousands. Um, what I really think that the the point structure does Whoa, is uh, encourage participation and team play. For example, in Bad Company 2, if you're assisting or helping out a squad mate, you will get more points than if you're just helping out a teammate. So if it's a squad assist, you get 10 extra points. If it's a squad revive, you get 30 extra points. And I believe that kind of encourages you, you to playing with your squad. And it also encourages you to attack vehicles, because if you are an engineer, I sending one rocket on a tank is not going to destroy it. However, you might get 30 points for vehicle damage. So, th so you're encouraged uh, so to actually start taking yeah, out that tank, little, yeah. while you may not be able to do it alone. That may encourage multiple people to attack that I tank, would, yeah. and together I'm you'll so be able to take it out. Meh. Yeah. Um, he and says that he hopes BF3 will return to a simpler yeah. way of keeping score. I hope not, because if for many, burst, points is a proper um, encouragement to actually participate and help out your team. His third point is he don't want any perks or kill streaks. Um, so my short answer is yes and no. 
Uh, or rather, no and yes, actually. The perks are already there. They are there in Bad Company too. Uh, with the specializations, you can have, um, you know, magnum ammo, explosives mark two, extra ammo, and you know that stuff. It's kind of perks, you know, it kind of um, uh, makes your character special. Um, the kill streaks, however, we don't want any of those. I don't think they're going to work on the big maps that Battlefield 3 is going to have because of the high uh, player count, and it also doesn't suit the kind of gameplay. Uh, kill streaks really suits arcade-like shooters, say COD, which introduced them too. <laughs> it really fits in COD, but it doesn't fit really well in the Battlefield kind of gameplay. So at least we're in agreement on that. Now, the Fodge classes. He says that he doesn't like the that there's only four classes yeah, in so Battlefield so Bad Company 2. He thinks that instead of the, that the four instead of the six classes is a step back. He thinks that uh, class objectives or rather the tasks of the different classes or kits is getting um, confused ah, and no, it doesn't work too well with the dynamic of the team. Huh? He thinks that the m system in Battlefield 2 gives a lot oh. more incentive to play as a team uh, than it does uh, what it does uh, in Bad Company 2. While this may be true, I hope not that they go back to the old um, the, the old way of, um, of having the, the classes, you know, with all the classes, because it really confuses and I think that that many classes just overlap each other. Now, he points out Team Fortress 2 for having a great class system. Uh, and while that is true, I don't think that Battlefield should try to emulate that at all and rather just go for the system they, ha they did in Bad Company 2 and for that matter also Bad Company because it, I actually think it works. And I'll go more into detail about this in a later video because he has has a separate post just on that, and I kind of want to ask you to hold that whole post. So his last point: tiered unlocks. Um, this is the system that Modern Warfare introduced, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, where you uh, you rank up, and with each rank you can unlock something. Now, Bad Company 2 also has a system that's like that. You rank up your different kits, you know, separately, so you unlock the, um, the weapons and gadgets, and you also have some of the weapons that are universal that all the kids can use, which you unlock by rank. Uh, he thinks that that's not the way to go, while ba Battlefield 2 had, a, had an unlock system where you actually had to unlock some of the weapons, it's not as extensive as it is in Bad Company 2. And it seems like he wants it to be uh, simplified, or at least you can choose what weapon you want to unlock. So, kind of what you have in Black yeah. Ops, where you first have to unlock the ability to purchase a weapon, but then you have to purchase it to actually be able to use it. And I don't know if that's the way to go. I mean, it seems uh, DICE have said that there will be more weapons in uh, Battlefield 3. And I'm guessing that they're gonna go for a tiered unlock system like in Bad Company 2. And I don't I don't think that's a bad thing. I believe it to be an incentive to actually keep players in the game. I know at least it was for me for a while. Now it's just fun to play. <laughs> and I've heard friends also say that the point uh, the point of un uh, the unlocking of weapons is actually incentive to play and it actually makes the game more fun for them so that may lure them in at first like they like it did with me and then make them addicted to the game like it did with me um, so I don't think it's a bad thing the only thing is that it may scare off new players because of the uh, lack because because some of the weapons that you get later on may be better conceived as better um, and you may feel unfairly treated if you get killed by those, I, I guess. <laughs> and um, But I also believe that it will kind of keep new players in because you won't get overloaded with a whole load of new of weapons to choose between. And it's just overwhelming to, uh, to kind of decide what weapon you want to use. So that, 
What was his point in the post? Now, as I said, I will have a video at a later point where I will talk about the uh, botch classes, or rather, um, four versus six classes in a battlefield game, and why I think that the six classes isn't as good as the four, um, and kind of why he thinks the other way. So, I actually see I have about a minute left of the gameplay so yeah we're nearing to nearing an end here um, really they have 23 22 tickets left now and um, this is actually oh yeah this is <laughs> this is a way that I didn't know of before I was just kind of fooling around just trying out new routes and suddenly I ended up on the edge of the map on this kind of ledge here and I really didn't know that it was possible, so I'm just telling my friend here, Hey, I'm all up on the right, you know, over you. So, here. <laughs> I'm trying to signal him, so he finally gets where I am. And I'm just running around here seeing how far I really can go. Um, at a point here, I realized that I'm actually on my way into their spawn, uh, their uncapable base, if you want. So, I believe it's right about here. I just dump, jump down and go for A instead, I believe. Yeah, here I turn around and decide, no, you know what, I'm not going to go any further. Because um, I'm not one to spawn rape. I really don't think that's uh, good sportsmanship, so. What I do here is just run back towards A, I believe. Just kind of flank them, um, or ambush the, any players from behind. And we ended up winning. I went 15-5, and five, so mm. not too many kills. And, well, Enemy not too many deaths either. So... I hope to see you next time. Snackers. Oh, man. Scoreboards, I'm sure. Oh, it's just a big bang. Don't keep asking me, guys.